For over 40 years, Dungeons & Dragons has provided millions with the escapist pleasure that only a role-playing game can provide. But for the first years of the game, it was very heavy on dungeons and much lighter on dragons. In fact, few if any of the adventures gamers could play through featured the fantastical creatures at all. That all changed in 1982 when a young Salt Lake City couple came up with Dragonlance. Tracy Hickman, born in Salt Lake City and still living nearby, was down on his luck and desperate when he took a job across the country to work for TSR, the company that owned Dungeons & Dragons. Unable to even buy shoes for their children, Tracy and his wife Laura drove across the country to begin work on adventures for the game. On their drive, they created everything they need to establish Dragonlance in the world of Kryn, a magical place where dragons were the fearsome villains they were always meant to be in Dungeons & Dragons. When the Hickmans got to TSR, they pitched their system under the codename Project Overlord and slowly convinced the artists and staffers at the company that it was a smart move. In 1984, the first modules and novels were released and quickly became bestsellers. Over the next 30 plus years, Dragonlance would be one of the most popular worlds to play in for fans of Dungeons and & Dragons, and it spawned hundreds and hundreds of books, supplements, miniatures, video games, and even animated movies. And it all started right here, in the minds of a pair of Salt Lake City natives.